The Nigerian government has been advised to enact a law that will give constitutional backing for widows in the country. The advice was given by some leaders of non-governmental organizations while marking the 2021 International Widows Day in Abuja. Available statistics reveals that there are over 300 million widows around the world. Out of this figure, about 3.5 million are Nigerians. While marking the 2021 International Widows Day, some Nigerians have advised the federal government to enact a law that will give constitutional backing for widows. Every nation that wants to prosper should observe widows' rights and their welfare. He said it has to be prioritized. We have to gazette it. Even in the law of this country, widows' rights, welfare, and all their benefits has to be made a national assignment. It shouldn't just be treated with kitty glove. They are a critical part of our society. And this gathering is all, all about trying to create awareness and let people know, just like you and said, invisible women, invisible problem. In the sense that there are these people are here, but people don't notice that they're here. People are they, they, they are going through pains and people don't take notice of that. And it's to create awareness to let people know that we need to celebrate these human women, that when they lost their spouse, it is not the end of the way, it's not the end of the journey. They are they, sometimes because sometimes you see them stigmatized you see them rejected, you see them abandoned, you see them being frustrated, things that belong to them are being taken away from them. And then this time around, we are looking at it to create this awareness and let people know that they should reach out and at the same time assist the widows in our society and encourage the widows. Others, while appealing to Nigerians to assist the less privileged in the society, can vouch for free education for children of the widows. This thing is very simple. It's a very simple thing to do. If we can all come out, their uniforms, their everything, from every, from uniform to books. You do that so that they, there will be kind of educational growth and development in the society. Without education, sorry, we are not doing anything. And you can see that they form high quorum, high percentage of Nigeria. Charity Musa and Dorothy Ekok are both widows. They narrate their ordeal since the demise of their husbands. It's not easy, but I thank God. When things hard for me like this, if I look up and say, IG, where are you with your God? You see, I will have a call. I will I get assistance that will help me and my children. If not so, no brother, no sisters, no uh, um, husband, brothers. None of them. He used to ask, say, ah, how do children are feeling? Nobody, if it is not God. At the stage, there was a one that even made me to be crying on the streets like a mad person. That was when the, the, the people that my husband trained planned to collect his compound from me. He said that his compound was, is too big. How can he have such a big family? And they will tell that their father told them that my husband is the owner of the, even the police, till we went to court. Over 5,000 widows and women with special needs from different communities in Abuja were empowered with startup capitals, equipment, and food items by Rock of Ages Empowerment Foundation. The theme for the 2021 International Widows Day is Invisible Women, Invisible Problems. Amaka Ezekwe, AIT News, Abuja.